Pineapple Vegan. Welcome back to my channel. A lot of y'all have been asking for sweets and desserts. Y'all are like my spirit animals and I'm your spirit animal because we like food. So today we're gonna do brownies. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but the Duncan Hines Double Fudge Brownie Mix yeah, baby, this is vegan, okay? What makes it not vegan is the ingredients that it asks you to use, which is just eggs. But we're not gonna use eggs. We're gonna use something else instead of eggs, so whoop. So you could typically actually make brownies from scratch, but I didn't feel like doing it today. I want it to be quick and easy and straight to the point so you guys can do it at home and you won't have to waste a lot of time, right? And so what we're gonna do, I already have it in my bowl, and I'm just gonna move it around a little bit. This one comes with fudge. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. See, it's all melted, ooh. Mmm, yes, honey. This requires two large eggs, but instead of eggs, I'm just gonna use applesauce. And this is the cinnamon applesauce. You can use unsweetened regular applesauce, but that's boring, okay? I want a fudgy type brownie. I don't want it to be cake-like. So we're just gonna use, that's probably like one third of a cup. I'll save the rest for later. What? Uh-huh. So it is. And then I'm gonna use one third oil. Now it says vegetable oil, but I don't use vegetable oil. I usually use coconut oil, but I'm out. But just use the oil of your choice. This is olive oil. And then you're gonna pour in one third of a cup of water. And then we're just gonna mix And my oven is preheating right now. It's actually already warmed up. I preheated it at 350 degrees. Okay, so just in case you guys are wondering why I have this sour cream here, it gives it more of a moist, moistness, and you only need like just a dollop. So this is about, yeah, half a cup of pecans. Just made a mess. And then we're gonna get our pan. So I already pre-greased this pan with coconut oil. And so all I'm gonna do is spoon it in here. In my little pan. Good news about this, it doesn't have raw eggs in it, so guess what? You can lick the batter and you won't get sick. Spread it across. Mmm, mmm. Brittany, what girl? You did that. Thank you, girl. You're so good at this. I know. Now it's gonna go in the oven. It's supposed to cook for about 35 to 38 minutes. So I'm gonna check on it with a toothpick at 30 minutes. I'm gonna see if the toothpick comes out clean. If the toothpick comes out clean, it's done. Okay, y'all, so it is done. Perfect. What you do is see if it's done, if you just stick a toothpick in and it comes out clean. Oh, it's falling apart. Oh. Oh my God. So good. Look at that, y'all. I'm making a mess. You have to have all of your square. This is my square, so I gotta get all of it. My son is behind the camera judging me. Do you wanna taste it? I'm not even gonna use it for it. Mmm. It's so moist and chewy. I can taste the pecans. Mmm-hmm. I need some milk. It's so damn hot. Yeah. That was so easy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. What you waiting for? What you waiting for? Do it, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna go now so I can finish eating this brownie. I'm probably gonna have another one with some milk. And I probably need to go buy some ice cream so we can top it and put some caramel. <laughs> I really enjoyed making this video. If you make it, let me know. I want to see your brownies. 
however you freak them, I want to see it, okay? So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.